my condition had a plan from the start. Your son for redemption, the price for my heart. I don't have a context for that kind of love. and sisters. Thank you for joining us tonight and uh, I hope you are okay kung saan man kayo dyan. Nag-enjoy. Um, napansin nyo siguro wala si Je. Bumaba na po siya sa Manila para maghanap ng work. Sana makahanap siya kaagad. We miss you, Je! <laughs> okay. So, uh, bago tayo mag-umpisa, pwede bang uh, mag-opening prayer? Oh, okay, let us pray. Um, dear Lord, thank you for this night that you have given us. Thank you for the safe travels you for in in the past. And Lord, thank you for protecting us in in the whole week. And Lord, pinipi pray po namin ngayong gabi sa na po may new revelation po. In this name we pray. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Yan po ang reward natin sa pag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. Nakakausap natin ng Lord dahil uh, binibigyan niya ang kanyang mga revelation. Oh, Di ba? Hindi oh, ba mo yan? Nakakausap natin ng Lord. So, last weeks, weeks, no? Marami tayong pinag-usapan uh, tungkol sa faith, no? And ano yung mga pag-uusap na nangyayari, no? And uh, nakakatuwa kasi, um, yung mga discussion eh maraming lesson tayo na napag-usapan ano so mag-recap lang ako ulit to remind everyone kung ano yung mga napag-usapan so last time we talked about uh, Mark 9:14 yung uh, merong isang um, tatay no that who brought his son no doon sa mga disciples kasi yung kanyang anak ay possessed 
by an evil spirit no na halos hindi makapagsalita and uh, minsan daw he throws himself into the fire and water to kill him no pero sabi nga nung father na ito hindi na pagaling ng mga disciples kaya naman si Jesus sabi niya nako mga disciples hanggang kailan ako magiging uh, mag uh, stay with you ano sabi niya And then na, narinig natin yung sabi ng father na but if you can do anything sabi niya kay Jesus no take pity on us and help us no medyo na offend si Lord Jesus doon sa word na yun at anong sabi niya doon nan sa Mark 923 if you can said Jesus everything is possible for one who believes Ayo, no sabi Jesus if you can Ah, sinasabi niya, hindi ka ba naniniwala sa aking kayanan? If you can. Oh, ayan, sabi ni Lord, everything is possible for one who believes. Kaya naman, sabi agad nung father, I do believe. Uh, help me overcome my unbelief. Diba? So sabi natin, very powerful din yung words ng father na pag may mga ganong sitwasyon na medyo half-hearted yung iyong faith at parang... Uh, hindi mo alam maniniwala ka ba o hindi, no? Ang dapat na sabihin natin sa Panginoon, Lord, so bang maniwala, I want to believe, I do believe. Lord, help me overcome my unbelief, no? So, yun, no? Kung meron tayong mga doubts, pwede natin sabihin yun. And then, the next week, pinag-usapan naman natin yung uh, two blind men, no? So, kung yung father, may half-hearted faith, ito namang dalawang blind, they have a whole-hearted faith. Paano natin nasabi yun, no? One pakibasa nga ulit, yung Matthew 9, 27. As Jesus went out from there, two blind men followed him, calling out, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him, and he asked to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their sight was restored. Mm-hmm. So sabi natin, paano kung kagaya siya ng father na half-hearted yung faith niya, eh, baka isang mata lang ang ano, kung nahil, ano, buti na lang, solid, no? ang paniniwala nitong dalawang blind man, no? That uh, the Lord Jesus can heal them, no? So, uh, they, ano ba sila naniwala kay Jesus? Di naman nila nakita yung miracle. So, sabi natin, they believe through hearing and hearing about the Lord. No? Kasi ganun naman po talaga, no? We increase our faith by hearing and hearing, no? So, nakakita tayo ng half-hearted faith, nakabasa rin tayo ng whole-hearted faith, pero ang Panginoon, He is so merciful, kahit na half-hearted lang, no, He answered yung prayer pa rin, ano, no, uh, Father. So, na-free pa rin yung anak na demon possess. At itong two blind men, according to their faith, gumaling na yung kanilang mga mata. Their eyes were restored. And then, last week, ano pinag-usapan natin, and that, yung two officials. Two officials, no? Isa ay, anong problema ng isa? Hmm. Yung nasa dyan, 4, 43. Then, there was a certain royal official whose son they seek at Capernaum. Hmm. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived at Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. Unless you people see, see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. Mm-hmm. So, inaral din natin, no? Ba- bakit kaya ganun yung reaction ni Jesus na unless... You people see signs and wonders, no? You won't believe, no? You'll never believe. At uh, sabi nga ng official, no? Sir, come down before my child. So, 
pinag-aralan natin, bakit sa tingin natin medyo kulang yung faith o walang faith itong uh, official na ito. Kasi nga, yung word niya na come. Pinapapunta niya sa Lord sa Kapernaum, which is 26 kilometers from Galilee, no, and uh, kailangan pa niya makita at ang tawag pa niya kay Lord ay Sir, hindi Lord, no? Parang doktor lang, Dok! <laughs> Dok, sige na, puntang mo na yung anak ko para gumaling na, no? So, hindi niya na-recognize na si Lord ay Dio, ay si Jesus ay Lord, no? So, uh, kaya naman, um, at pinapapunta pa niya. Ngayon, nung pinag-aralan naman natin yung, um, yung centurion, para na ngayon, Armin, sa Matthew 8.5. Pakibasa ulit. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home, paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, Shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word, and my, okay. and okay. my servant will be healed. Yon, no? So, yun naman, no? So, no una, sabi niya, Sir, please come. Yun yung official. No? Dito naman, sabi niya, Shall I come? No, sir, sabi niya, I do not deserve that you come. But just say the word. So, yun po yung pagkakaiba. Mm. Nung una, ba't yung, ganun yung reaction ni Jesus the official son? Kasi pinapapunta. Ito namang isa, hindi na, yung centurion, hindi pinapapunta si Jesus. Magsalita lang daw si Jesus. So, yung pala, yung naaral natin na kaibahan. But, no, despite the little faith nung uh, nag-serve sa kanya, no, still he answered his prayer. Mm-hmm. And sabi niya, go, your son will live. And this man took his word to heart. Naniwala siya sa salita ng Diyos. At yun, nangyari ang kanyang miracle. So, even though he was disappointed, kung minsan, sa atin, no, naririnig pa rin tayo ng Panginoon na sinasagot yung ating prayer. So, yun yung napag-usapan natin last week. Whoever takes his word by heart, will receive the blessing. So, just say the word, and then my servant will be healed. Or, go, your son will live. He took God's word, and he received the blessing. No? So, yun yung nakita natin. So, ngayong gabi naman, ang pag-uusapan natin, ano pa ba yung mga ibang approach ng mga tao? Ano pa yung mga sinasabi nila para ma-receive nila yung blessing ng Panginoon. Kasi nakita ko may mga pagkakaiba ng paano ba i-communicate yung kanilang kahilingan sa Panginoon. Ano? And uh, this one, um, basahin natin sa Mark 1, 40. No? Sige nga mo, Jesus heals a man with leprosy. A man with leprosy came to him and begged him on his knees, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus, Jesus was indignant. He reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. Okay. Yun. So, ito naman, iba naman ang approach ng uh, lalaki na ito na may leprosy, no? So, uh, pumunta pa rin siya kay Jesus. Naniniwala siya na may kakayanan ang Panginoon na siya ay gamutin. Pero very humble yung kanyang pagsabi, Lord, if you are willing, kung okay lang sa'yo, Lord, pwede mo pa ba, pwede mo po ba ako pagalingin? No, tinagalog ko, no? Kung okay lang sa'yo, Lord, pwede mo po ba ako pagalingin? If you are willing, Lord, you can make me clean. Pwede mo rin sabi niya. If you are willing, Lord, you can heal me right now. No? So, si Jesus, naramdaman niya yung humility at saka yung uh, heart nitong tao na to na kung hindi okay kay Lord, okay lang naman. Parang gano'n na. Pero kung okay sa iyo, Lord, pwede mo ba akong pagalingin? And sabi ni Lord, I am willing. 
I am willing to be clean. Immediately the leprosy left him and he was cleansed. No, so, uh, gusto kong balikan, ano, brothers and sisters, that there are many ways to ask the Lord for anything. No? Tama mo? Yung Mm. Yung leprosy noon, pag may leprosy, eh, lalabas ka sa, sa tao. Mm. Yung mga, hindi mo nakikita yung mga pamilya, friends, mm. Uh, mm. kasi may... Unclean, unclean. Unclean, uh, mm. at saka yung... Uh, bawal, lumapit. Bawal, uh, bawal. lumapit. Oh, oh. Si Jesus, yung nagsabi ng um, leprous man na uh, if you are willing, you will make me clean. Hmm. Tapos yung, yung si Jesus, yung, sa, he reached out his hand and touched him. Hmm. Parang ila. parang in, in, isang taon lang um, hindi ka nakakahawakan ng mga uh, uh, friends, mm. family. Yun ang compassion. Yung compassion. compassion. No, no. Uh, yung parang nakakadiri kasi. Mm. No? Nakakadiri kasi puro dugo-dugo. Di ba? Mm. Or puro ano, no? Talagang... Uh, Balot-balot nga sila eh, no? Nang ano, parang mami. Mga damit nila kasi. No? Parang sinasabi ng mo, no? Nung nagkasakit ng taong na to eh, he never felt yung touch ng isang tao, no? Or ni man, no? He, he never felt that anymore. Kasi nga, bawal nga lumapit, bawal, bawal silang makialubilo. pinagdidirihan sila. So, talagang yung context naman nito ay um, yun nga, yung touch is napakahalaga mm. para sa taong to. At, uh, Before na Jesus na naklin yung leprous man. Oo nga, tinouch mo na niya. He reached out his hand and touched the man. Nauna yung paghawak bago niya sinabi. na I am willing to be clean, you know? Wow. wow. Napakabuti talaga ng uh, Panginoon, ano? So, may mga sumunod pa pong verse na sinabihan niya yung, yung ano, yung leprosman na magpakita sa priest and offer yung sacrifices that Moses commanded for their cleansing, ano? Yun yung uh, sinabi niya. Pero, next topic na natin yung, bakit kaya Jesus sent him away at once with a strong warning, see that you don't tell this to anyone. no So, uh, pag-usapan natin yan next week, yung part to nito, kwento na ito. But, uh, yung gusto kong emphasize tonight is how the Lord Jesus healed this man. He reached out and touched the man na nakakadiri, no? At sinabi niyang, I am willing. Be clean, no? Pakabuti talaga ng Panginoon, no? And, um, yun nga, ang, ang gusto kong pag-usapan natin ngayong gabi, mga kapatid, is what type of words or conversations can make, uh, can move the Lord, no? Can move yung heart ng Panginoon, no? Na maramdaman niya yung naramdaman ng tao. So, uh, eto nga, yung words na, if you are willing, Lord, please make me clean, you know? please heal me. You know? Or dun sa manabasa natin kanina, Lord, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. Yun dun sa father na may demon process na anak. O kaya naman, Lord, I believe, you can make me see, sabi naman ng mga blind. I believe you are able to do this for me. Diba? O kaya, Lord, sabi na sa Lord, just say the word, and my servant will be healed. So, very powerful yung mga statements, ano, ng mga nakausap ni Jesus. Kaya siguro ito yung mga na sulat sa Bible. Kasi sabi nga ni John, maraming marami pa 
ang nagawa ng Panginoon. Pero yung mga kwento sa Bible eh, konti lang yung naisulat. So, these words, statements are very powerful. No? And they declare their faith in the Lord. No? With humility that ignites yung compassion ng Panginoon. And those words recognize the power of the Lord. No? Just say the word. Diba? And my servant will be healed. So, next time you ask the Lord for anything, ganun po yung ating mga uh, similar words ang pwede natin gamitin, no? Huwag na huwag natin sabihin yung mga bagay na nakaka-disappoint sa Lord, kagaya nung sinabi nung isa, na, but if you can do anything, no? Sabi ni Lord, if you can, no? O kaya naman yung sir, halika na, come down before my child dies. And uh, yung pag-address kasi, yung kasi yung difference dun sa sintoryo, no? no? So, these words naman treat God as somebody only, but not a God, ano? And someone who wants to see a miracle first before he believes. So, uh, anong reflection natin dito, brothers and sisters, sa mga statements or words na uh, naging uh, highlight nitong mga miracles? I think very important, be careful, no? Let's be careful with our words when we go to the Lord. No? Do our words reflect yung faith natin sa Kanya? No? Na naniliwala tayo sa Kanya? No? O it reflects doubt? No? Or it reflects yung words ng slave? Ayaw din ng Lord John, ano? Or uh, yung isa pa is be humble with our words when we go to the Lord. No? Yung words natin eh, reflects yung respect. No? Yung pagsabi ng sir is a respect. Pero ang tinatanggap ng Panginoon is yung Lord eh. No? Uh, kasi hindi siya ay Lord. No? Siya ay Lord. Or father. No? Or brother. Yung medyo intimate. Yun ang gusto ng Panginoon. Yung intimate yung pag-address natin sa kanya, hindi yung parang very formal na, Sir, distant yun eh. Walang relasyon pag Sir, you know, distant. You know? So, let's be humble with our words, be careful with our words when we go to the Lord. And be mindful you know, of our words. Kasi, di ba sabi nga nila, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. You know? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. You know? So, minsan, may mga sinasabi tayo sa kapwa natin, tapos sabi natin, joke lang. Actually, sometimes may katotohanan yung sinasabi natin kasi from the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So, when we when we speak with the Lord, no, let's be mindful. No? It, kasi it reflects yung ating uh, condition of the heart. You know? uh, alam nyo naman, si Lord ang tinitingnan yung heart. No? Oh, oh. Diba? Sabi nga niya, these people worship me with their lips, but not with their hearts. No? May ganun, no? So, very important sa Panginoon yung words natin. No? So, sabi nga sa Proverbs 18.21, the tongue has the power of life and death. No? Kasi, yung salita natin kung minsan, uh, pwedeng makarating sa Lord at maging uh, happy siya sa atin, no? O pwede rin makasakit sa Lord, no? O, oh, ayan. Nagbawa, nagpa-curse na tayo, so hindi na po tayo. So, so, aside from being careful and being mindful and being humble with our words, when we go to the Lord, when we pray, no? We should be saying faith-filled words, no? yung halatang naniniwala tayo sa Panginoon. No? Paano yun? Natindang, wala naman akong alam na words kung ano ba ang faith-filled words. Ay, madali lang po yan, brothers and sisters. No? Punta tayo sa Bible. Marami po ang words and promises ng Panginoon sa atin doon at pwede lang natin ulitin. No? Timbawa, you're going through something a problem na parang, bakit itong nangyayari sa akin eh? Wala naman akong ginagawang hindi tama, alimbawa, ano? 
Why, why do I have to go through some something that's wrong when I don't think I deserve this? Mga pang feeling natin sa ano. When you are attacked by such thinking, ano, pwede naman tayong pumunta sa Panginoon ba? Ay, through yung Bible, basahin natin words niya, pwede natin sabihin, Lord, whatever is happening to me, I know that all things work together for my good because you said so. You said, Lord, in your words, that you bless the righteous, you surround him with favor as with a shield. Sabi mo, Lord, that mercy, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. I'm claiming that today, O oh God. Mga ganon, no? You, when we say the words of the Lord, nagkaroon ng power, eh. Kasi powerful nga po yung words ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, it will not return to me void. Pag binigkas na daw ng Panginoon yung salita, no? pag bumalik sa Kanya, meron ng result. Ibig sabihin, no? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You said, no weapon that is formed against you will prosper. Yun, di ba? Oh, pag kailangan mo ng protection, may umaataking mga uh, kalaban, halimbawa. No? Lord, thank you. You are my shield, you are my protector, and you said, no weapon form against me will prosper. And I know your words are true. Ganon, no? You know, more faith-filled words, ano? Lord, you said, you give me a future and a hope. No? I'm claiming that, oh Lord God, no? You said, I will run and not go weary. Diba? You said, diba, Lord, that uh, your strength is, is made perfect in my weakness. Ganon, no? You said, you said, long life, you will satisfy me. Yon. Show me your salvation. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, ang gusto lang namin sabihin is, dapat, alam natin yung promises and words ng Panginoon and we recite them. No, in times na kailangan-kailangan natin. Diba? Sabi mo, Lord, if I ask for wisdom, you will give it to me without finding fault. Alam ko may managawa akong hindi maganda itong mga nakaraang araw, but today, I'm asking you for wisdom para hindi ako magkamali. Sabi mo, Lord, you will give me wisdom without finding fault. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo sabihin niya, ayaw ko kaya itang bigyan ng wisdom kasi marami kang salam sa akin. Hindi po pag binigay ni, pag humingi tayong wisdom, bibigay po ng Panginoon niyan kasi alam niya, gusto natin gumawa ng tao. Hmm. So very important to use our words to bless our life or to bless our future. Oo. Oh, kasi po kung mga bad words po yung pronouns natin, no? Mamaya nangyari na. No? So, dapat faith-filled words yung ating sinasabi at nanggagaling yung din sa salita ng Panginoon sa Bible. Okay po ba? Okay. Ano pa? May maalala ka lang na ano rin yung nire-recite mo? Na? Ay, masasakyan. <laughs> Sana may masakyan. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. No, I was like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ikaw naman, Arbena, nung pinagpasalaman mo sa Lord. Marami. Marami. Sample na rin. Blessings. Blessings. So, oh, ganun. Thank you, Lord, that, you know, your, um, na ang kalooban mo, ito bless me. Sabi mo sa iyong salita, You are looking to and fro in the earth, looking for someone to bless. Thank you, Lord, nakita mo ako at blemes mo ako. Di ba? Oo, ganyan po tayo dapat magsalita sa Panginoon. At uh, makikita po natin, no? Those words will come to life. Kasi sabi nga ni Lord, His words will not return to Him void. 
Amen. Amen. Ano pa? We should be saying praise-filled words, no? Hindi lang faith-filled words. Praise-filled words. Paano ba yun natin? Ang ano bang sasabihin? Ay, nako, madali lang yun, brothers and sisters. Marami kayong alam na kanta ng uh, hill song or ng, uh, ano ba ba yung alam natin singer? Uh, Lake Wood, NCC, uh, Bethel, uh, Elevation. Lahat po ng mga kanta nila dyan, puro praise song. No? Uh, uh, halimbawa, um, may, ni, may prayer ka. Sa Panginoon, anong awitin mo? Hindi, you are the answer to the prayers I'm praying. Di ba? Mga ganon. You are the reason that I keep on singing. Di ba? Ganon. Tapos, Jesus, you are all I want. Jesus, you are all I need. I know your promise will be worth my waiting. Tapos, I praise you, I'll praise you for your promise will come. Lord, I'll praise you, I'll praise you like it's already done. Ganyan. Pag mayroon mo pa yung pinagdadasal, no? Mayroon po di sa inyong puso at alam nyo, Ah, pwedeng kalooban din ng Panginoon yung inyong pinagdala sa alay. Pwede nang sabihin yun. I praise you Lord that your promise will come. I praise you na parang natanggap ko na ang sagot sa aking pananami. Oo, di ba? Thank you Lord that you are our provider. Parang yung isang araw na ko. Walang pambayad ng kuryente. Paano kaya? Ay, sabi ko, It's time to sing. Kahit kailan, di ka nagkulang. Biyaya mo sa amin, laging laan. Ay, maya-maya lang, may pambayad na. No? Oo. Hindi naman natin binubola ang Panginoon. Sinasabi lang po natin ang katotohanan. Na talaga naman, kahit kailan, hindi po nagkukulang ang ating Panginoon. Kailangan lang po ibukas natin ang ating mga mata sa kanyang mga sagot. No, ibukas natin yung ating mga mata sa mga ginagawa niya sa atin. Buhay. No? Everything is a blessing. Every perfect gift comes from the Lord. Kaya kung ano man po yung nararamdaman nyo, alimbawa ang gulong-gulo isip niyo, ganyan, no? Eh, di kumanta kayo ng peace, no? ba? Diba? You give me peace That holds me when I'm broken Sweet peace That passes understanding When the whole wide world is crashing down I fall to my knees And breathe in Your peace. Ano na, I think it's mahilig naman po ang Pinoy kumanta eh, no? So yan po yung magantahin natin pag medyo nahirapan tayo. Breathe in your peace ng Panginoon. Diba? So, yun po. no? I think when we do that, faith-filled words, praise-filled words that we recite, that we sing every day, You can never imagine. Pwede din mo mong what God will do. Ex-ibig sa sa psalm. Sa psalms, ang dami din doon, no? Yung psalms, sige nga mong sample. Psalm 45. Favorite. Many Lord, my God, and the wonders you have done, the things you planned for us, none can compare with you. If I For I have to speak and tell our deeds, they will be too many to declare. Di ba? Sarap naman. Siyempre, pag si Lord naman ang nakarinig nun, sige nga, ano naman gagawin ni Lord? Aba, puntahin nyo nga si Mon. Praise ng praise. Ibigay nyo nga anong kailangan niya at praise ng praise. Thank you ng thank you. Hindi pa binibigyan. Thank you na. 
Diba? Ay, ganun po. Eh, tayo din naman. Halimbawa, ano, Mami, parang beauty mo ngayon, ha? O, anak, anong kailangan mo? <laughs> diba? Ganyan naman. No? Ganyan ang ating Panginoon. I think, no, um, kaya lang po natin din gawin yan kung uh, talagang nanonurture po yung relationship natin sa Panginoon at uh, binabasa natin ka kanyang salita, inaaral natin, which we do dito sa Bible study. So, I, I really hope continuous po yung ating pag-aaral kasi talagang uh, sa Bible study nga din natin naiintindihan kung sino ang ating Panginoon at ano ang kanyang mga ginagawa sa ating mga So, yun lang po, brothers and sisters, when we go to the Lord, we should be careful with our words, be humble, and uh, be mindful sa ating mga sinasabi sa Kanya. And ang dapat talaga, no, faith-filled words and praise-filled words. At talaga, uh, we will enjoy life to the full na Kanyang sinabi. May obstacles man, marami din po tayong pwedeng kagaya na kanina, no? No weapon form against me will prosper. Yun ang sabi mo, Panginoon. So, I'm clinging to your words. Di ba? Ganyan po. So, hopefully po, nakatulong po sa ating lahat. And uh, sana sa ating mga panalangin, sa ating mga uh, sinasabi sa araw-araw, mas marami po yung faith-filled words and praise-filled words. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat. Um, closing prayer mo? Thank you Lord sa, sa words mo tonight. Sana ay magbigay sa amin sa revelation ng mga words at sa uh, yung uh, maging uh, kalakasan yung faith na amin sa araw-araw na sinisik ka Panginoon. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Good night, po. God bless. Stay.